They were the first resort to introduce the all-inclusive package when it opened its doors on Cable Beach two decades ago. Those risks taken by the Issa family is creating the Super Club's Breezes Bahamas brand, and it's been paying off. As the resort celebrates its 20th anniversary, Clint Watson reports tonight that they honored their employees, some who have been with the resort since it opened. 139 team members of Super Club's Breezes honored for 5 to 20 years of service since the resort opened back in 1995, having moved from the new kids on the block to now one of the oldest local resorts. Chairman John Issa says they've watched the landscape of Cable Beach change and have watched brands come and go. He is pleased with the upgrades the hotel has made over the years, with the recent renovations to just about every area of the resort. However, he noted that the construction of an additional 100 rooms had to be placed on hold and the $100,000 spent on drawings wasted after the landscape of Cable Beach changed. The failure of Bahamar to transfer to Breezes, the land we are to secure in exchange for the land we own, on which they have constructed one of their hotels. It appears that much of the land on which Bahamar has been constructed belongs to the people of the Bahamas and Breezes. But then again, the people of the Bahamas and Breezes have always had many interests in common, particularly the well-being of the Bahamian people and the economy. We are hopeful that the storm to our west and I'm not talking about Erica, will soon calm down and we can proceed with our expansion plans in the not too distant future. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie told the honorees that they are a part of an organization that prides itself on people and family. He commended the resort for establishing a positive relationship with its employees. He encouraged his staff to always be cognizant that the investment and business is only as strong as they are. Whatever position you hold, in this establishment, whatever position, there must be always an understanding of what excellence means. And you're going to be judged on the commitment you give, your willingness to do extras. Because this place competes not only with places in the Bahamas, but with places in the region. And understandably, in the Bahamas, it costs more. And the reality, therefore, is we have to be that much better. Mr. Christie says the Bahamas is facing mounting competition as the region is aware the fastest way to generate money is through tourism. He challenges staff to go beyond what is required. In the process of serving your employer loyally, honestly, genuinely, you are serving the best interest of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.